in a land called the United States of America. In the year 2030, there exists a problem, something that cannot be solved, or rather, shall not be solved. This is a problem of the nerds in the world. With the great concerns of overpopulation, the consensus population has decided that all nerds must be found and changed into jocks. In the great state of Minnesota, we examine this problem in a specific high school. Why the Ghost Nation? It's your boy, Josh. And we back at the Daily Vlogs again. So today. <coughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little sick, but we're gonna look at some. What are you doing? You're supposed to be outside playing football. I'm, I'm sorry, Ted. Just, just please, pl please don't do anything, okay? I, 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 I promise. Get back on that football field, son. <coughs> I can't, Ted. I can't, Ted. I'm, I'm too sick. I, 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 I can't. Wow, this is worse than I thought. We're gonna get some backup in here. Hello, Grandpappy. Yes. Please come over. We need to set this boy straight. Ah, uh, yes. This boy. He seems to be very infected with nerdism. I suspect it's been going around in this town. So perhaps we should make sure no one else has this illness. Perhaps we should talk to the woman, cause they would know. Hey Richard, it's just me, Ashley. Remember me from the party? Yeah, well, um, I had a lot of fun uh, watching the robotics tournament during it. <laughs> so, uh, if you wanna hit me up, you know, you could maybe go on a date or something. You know, I had a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, just please let me know. I mean, yeah, I know you're kind of like busy with uh, being an adult, but uh, I'd love to hang out sometime. So, bye. I've made a severe lapse in judgment. When I when I talk to you, Ashley, I, I I am not a nerd. I am a jock. Go Panther! Yeah. And I'm not a nerd. So, if you'll please never talk to me again, that would be great. Goodbye. Oh, Richard. I know you may have been hanging out with Ashley, but I still love you. I will always love you. I know you missed the my, my the football game to, for like the robotics thing, but I know you'll come back to where you belong as a Christian man who would go to the football games and watch me as a cheerleader. So I will just be calm and I will respect your decision. Now as you know, I love jocks, and you were the jockiest jock I've ever known. So I will always love you for that. Let's just please, please never talk about this again. <laughs> I am so sorry, Jessica. Okay, you you know I still love you, and you know I love my football games. Okay, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, we'll get this nerd out of our lives forever. All right, she'll never talk to us again. And she can enjoy her time in wherever nerds go. I don't, I don't exactly know, but like wherever they would go, that's where she will be for the rest of her life. I know you tried, Richard. I know it can be hard. I will try to take you back. It's hard for me to look at you the same way, but I know you are good, good jock, and I will always love you for that. Hello, Ashley. You look quite attractive today. So you are accusing Jessica, the cheerleader, of being a nerd and liking physics? Oh, we'll have to take a closer look into this. 
Hello, Judge Sandfork. I have an intriguing case for you. There's this woman named Jessica who may be a nerd who likes physics. We shall have a trial immediately to see if she is a nerd. Hear ye! Hear ye! Order in the court! Today, we're listening to the trial of Jessica versus Ashley. The court has found that Jessica is quite attractive. Therefore, Jessica will be free for at least one year, and then we will revisit the case. Richard, you are free to leave. Judge Sandfork. It's more than just Jessica. I mean, she all right, right? She, she's fine, but you know, it's way more than just Jessica, all right? My bros, like Philip, you know, he's a dude, all right? We went out to get some beers all the time at the pub, you know, we, we you know, we, we served a little bit, you know, we had we had uh, some times, right? We had some bro times, and you're gonna tell me he's a nerd and he has to confess? And guess what? He ain't no nerd. You the nerd, and. Uh, I'll prove that this other girl, Ashley, is also a nerd. Oh, yes, Judge. I think you should take this man very seriously. Back in my day, we didn't have any Insta chat or Snapbook. But now these people are easily corrupted by the government. So you should let them free because they are the opposition we need. Ashley. You may now present your side of the case. Well, Judge Sandfork, I saw this woman, Jessica, going into a robotics competition, and I just knew that is where nerds go. And I don't have any proof because I'm not a nerd, but like, I just know she's a nerd. Please. Please listen to me. I feel her spirit is coming out to get me. Judge Sandfork, it was Ashley and I who went to that robotics competition, not Jessica. You can bring Jessica in and she'll confirm everything. Alright then, bring in Jessica! No, Jessica! Have you ever seen your husband enter a robotics competition? No, Judge. My husband only likes two things. The party and to watch sports. Okay, he's a jock, not a nerd. So you can just take that and put it up your... Very well then. This man, Richard, is guilty of lying! He shall be put to a prison because we aren't that harsh, because that would be kind of like harsh in a mail. But he will be sent to prison for life! Order! Order! Oh my god, Richard, I'm so sorry. Why? No, no, Richard! This is all your fault, Ashley, you dumb freaking nerd! Ugh. I'm so sorry, Richard. I didn't mean this to happen. We were supposed to be together forever. <laughs> Sandfork, I think we've made a big mistake. There's no way there's this many nerds in my America. I am sorry to everyone who did not like the decision. It was a decision that was difficult but had to be done. We must get rid of all nerds before they possibly affect our society.